By the end of this video, you'll be able to build this exact same portable Raspberry Pi kit. It's a really cool kit. Check it out. See what it's all about right now. What's up, YouTube? This is a five-in-one Raspberry Pi battery board. Pretty excited about this one. You might be wondering how many Raspberry Pis do I have now? The answer is seven. <laughs> Six threes and one zero. So it doesn't come in the cute little Raspberry Pi box, but as you can see, there's a Raspberry Pi 3. There you go. Good stuff. Looks good. This is the 3.7 volt 3800 MAH Raspberry Pi Club. It has uh, an on off switch, which is nice. Oh, well, it just turned on. You get two USBs, a, a charge adapter input. So, this is how you charge it with a micro USB here. So you got to power your Raspberry Pi through a little cable that I'm sure it gives you in here. These pegs came with the battery. Some screws, some nuts, and some little brass pegs. And then now we have the case. Okay, so you got a nice little mini uh, dongle here. This builds the actual case. And then you have all three heat sinks, which is nice. And a fan and the structure of the case. So what I'm gonna do is, the first thing is just peel off all this, this stuff, because this could be kind of a pain to get all this off. For this step, I moistened the paper a little bit and then started peeling. You will notice that in this video going forward, I have the fan like this and the fan underneath. Ignore that. Um, I fixed it at the end when I realized that um, it didn't align with the GPIO pins. You just, eventually it needs to align with the GPIO pins. If you do it the other way, I had it like this initially, and although it fits, even if the fan was on the other side, even though it fits, you can see that it, it just doesn't align with the GPIO pins correctly. So that's how you know. Um, it also aligns with the display port and then the camera port can get through there uh, if you needed to. The rounded screws go in the corners. The flat screws go on the um, for the battery pack. The longest pegs go on the outside brass pegs. The second longest go for the bottom plate to the um, adapter, power adapter. And then the smallest pegs are for the Raspberry Pi 3. Back to the build. So the first thing to do is get the bottom plate. Um, these two, the two plates are identical, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. Just don't pick the one that the fan goes on. And the first thing to do is thread on the medium-sized brass pegs for the battery pack using the flat screws on the other side, and then just tighten those up. Then you got to do the outside pegs with the rounded a uh, little bit. They're a little higher screws and the large pegs, and then just tighten these up, and you should have all your little foundation there, and that's the bottom of your um, pie. Now for this step, if you, the battery pack, the on-off switch, wants to go towards the opening on the right there, um, and then the uh, battery faces down towards the bottom of the case. And then you gotta thread on these little screws to tighten the battery pack onto the pegs, and they're a pain in the rear. So um, definitely do that. Definitely polish and clean as you go. Um, here are the four screws that I just picked up one, the little screw, and then the mini peg. And I'm putting on the next adapter plate to fit the Raspberry Pi 3 on that plate. Um, you'll see in a second here. And then clean as you go. So there you go. Again, the opening goes to the right. So the two uh, notches go to the right of the case for the micro SD part as well. The micro SD, as you see, I pointed there, goes towards the back. And then the ports go towards the left. Uh, now this is another pain is to screw these little screws on. It would help a lot if you had a screwdriver and then go ahead and put on your final four peg. As far as the direction of the Raspberry Pi 3, you want the micro SD card coming out the back of one of these little cutlets. And for the power adapter, you want the little switch coming out to where they have the cutout as well. So you can get your finger in there, turn it on and off. You can get your finger in there, take in and out the micro SD card. And then it also aligns these ports so you can go for the power. You can go directly from here to here. Uh, a really simple um, exchange there. 
Uh, and then you still have access to your USBs and your LAN, and then you still have access to your GPIOs uh, as well. As far as hooking up the fan, you want to go um, black, red, and then one blank, just like that. Put it on top. And then the last thing are these little thumb screws. Well, they're not really thumb screws, but they're rounded, topped screws. Decorative screws that hide the tops of the threads. So there it is. Voila. All finished. Um, really cool kit. I love the look of it. I love that it has a fan. It has all the heat sinks. It has all the adapters and screws that you need. Fairly easy to make. I think the airflow on this is going to be great. You still have access to all the ports, including the camera and the display port. And then the fact that it's portable, you know, no matter where you are, you can power your project. So this would be great for like a science fair, or if you're using the Pi for anything where you might not have power available there. So it really opens up a lot of possibilities. And it's just a cool looking kit as well. Um, it also has that extra USB there. So if you want, you can charge your phone. All sorts of possibilities here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe. See you on the next.